Hello everybody, my name is Arjun Vadhavan and I'm 29 years old. I recently graduated with a PhD and through this video I want to talk about four mistakes that I made in my PhD and maybe some little solutions. Number one, I started off with aiming for a very high publication and that took me at least two and a half years before which I could publish my first paper. Now my first paper was published in a very nice journal and PNAS but the amount of time and effort it took me was too much and it always made me very insecure compared to my peer group and one easy solution for this that I recommend to other new PhD is always aim for the first publication to be very low impact normal publication so that you get a feel of publishing articles and then in the second or third uh, publication you know aim for something much more bigger. Number two, I had no collaborations till the very end of my PhD. Not, I was working in simulation world and doing computer simulations. And technically I should have had a very nice experimental group with whom I should have collaborated or some other university with, who, with, with whom I could have collaborated and maybe you know, travel there, set up a new, nice project and also get a bit of feel of doing something uh, in, in that aspect. But I never did that because I was always busy in my small little project. And I realized at the end of my PhD that I missed out on a lot of fun part of collaborating in a PhD. And I did do it at the very end, but then I would recommend it to someone that you should aim for a collaboration at the very start of your PhD, you know, make sure that you convey to your supervisor that you would like to collaborate and find a professor or find a group that does something similar and start the start the initial communication yourself and and you would definitely see at the end of your phd that you will be much more happy with it number three at the end of my phd it was a corona start of the corona pandemic and i didn't fix my phd defense date and because i graduated in netherlands you are supposed to fix a phd defense date and based on that you do the whole preparation i just simply forgot it or I was just too negligent and because of that uh, my PhD had to be delayed defense had to be delayed for four months and that means I had to find out ways to sponsor my PhD for the rest of the four months and do other stuff so and also planning wise it didn't make sense so to, to someone new I would definitely recommend that already at your at the at the middle of your third year of your PhD already aim for a month at least in which you want to defend your PhD and then start preparing already in that order so that you put arrange all the things around, you know, booking a date, telling your committee members and everything. Number four and the last one, I love to do reach out and start something on my own. But during my PhD, I realized that I never got time to do this. And I was always just again busy with my small little own project, getting always reading articles, just in my own little bubble. And I realized at the end of my PhD that I made a huge mistake of not investing some time, you know, each month or each day to, to do some reach out, to, to maybe help students in teaching or maybe to, to make these kind of videos or to write a blog or to, to do something more creative that reaches to a much more wider audience. Just not my research articles, but also to, to do a more reach out through, through any form that, that I like, uh, it could have been possible. And I didn't do it, but I strongly recommend it to any, any every PhD basically, so that it gives you a bit more experience of, you know, showcasing yourself to the world, but also helping out more people out there because there are a lot of people or master students or bachelor students who you can help. And, and with these, I think I want to close this video that by saying that these are four things or four mistakes that I made during my PhD and I would like to share it with someone who's doing a PhD and maybe it helps you out in getting more perspective on how to, to make better use of your time and do much more fun stuff. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I hope that you can like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.